Skywatch Media News for July the 9th, 2020. A blazing comet named Neowise has suddenly appeared in the sky above the Earth, catching many astronomers by surprise. Neowise, a near-Earth object, was first spotted by the WISE telescope on March the 27th. But at that time, it was a dim 17th magnitude object, and therefore was not easily detected. Astronomers had feared that this comet would fall victim to the same fate of other promising objects this year, such as Comet Atlas, which was the brightest comet in decades. But as it passed by the Sun, it began to break up into separate pieces and gradually faded away. But Neowise survived its encounter with our star in early July, sailing very close, tucked inside the orbit of Mercury, boosting its brightness to magnitude 1. It is now sailing into the far reaches of the solar system, but not until it swings past the Earth later this month. The extraordinary comet has become one of the very few comets that can be seen with the unaided eye this century, and it is going to remain visible throughout the month of July to provide a unique opportunity for stargazers to spot its appearance. Because Neowise is a comet, it has a coma trail that extends far behind its icy nucleus, and it is this trail that will be easier to spot than the object itself. So keep an eye out for that long streak that is visible in the sky. The easiest way to locate the comet is to look for the more familiar stars and constellations that are situated near the object. It will be gradually moving during the month of July but should be fairly easy to locate. But if you're struggling to locate the comet, there is an app called Night Sky that will make it easier to identify the constellations that cross its path. If you're looking for the comet in the late evening sky beginning mid-July, then look to the northwest and locate Ursa Major, commonly known as the Big Dipper. From this point, look slightly to the right about 30 degrees above the horizon, and there you will find the comet. The long nights and early mornings make it difficult to find, so it would be best to look from an area that is void of street lights 
where the sky is dark enough to clearly identify it. Your best bet is to try late evening hours or against the lighter pre-dawn sky where the comet is visible for the next few days from the northeast below the constellation Auriga, about 10 degrees above the horizon. Although Neowise is visible with the unaided eye, it may help to use binoculars to locate the comet. And once located, you can then have a look without the aids. During the course of the month, the comet will approach the Earth and make its closest flyby on July the 23rd, when it should be much easier to spot. On July 6th, European astronomers captured an intriguing spectacle above the horizon as Comet Neowise was being photographed. The Sunrise Comet was surrounded by noctilucent clouds. These noctilucent clouds are increasing across much of Europe this summer, and so the comet served as a splendid backdrop to the iridescent cloud formations this month. Comets throughout the centuries, and even today, have inspired both dread and awe in many cultures and societies around the world. In earlier times, they were referred to as the menace of the universe and as the harbinger of doom. They have been regarded as omens of disaster as well as messengers of the gods. Long ago, skywatchers cringed at the sight of a passing comet. But today we marvel at their sight, and are spellbound by their appearance. When the so-called messenger of troubled times is captured in the presence of the mysterious iridescent clouds in the atmosphere, it is something rare and quite strange that is happening before our eyes. Because the comet Neowise will be shining brilliantly from above the Earth, and is but one of a very few that are visible to the unaided eye, don't be surprised if this one goes down in the books as one of the most vivid this century, a sight to behold. The existential threat from meteoroids and asteroids is a hot topic these days, with reports of atmospheric explosions happening at a fast clip from around the world. Meteoroids or asteroid fragments enter the Earth's atmosphere every day. Many are small or insignificant, but occasionally a much bigger one sneaks through our atmosphere, creating a much greater risk to our planet. On July 2nd, a space rock crashed into our atmosphere above the city of Tokyo, creating an immense sonic boom. The event produced a spectacular light with green and purplish hues flying across the sky for just a few seconds at around 2.30 a.m. local time. The impact of what was likely a small asteroid colliding with our atmosphere was picked up by a few of the infrasound monitoring stations that are set up around the world, which are overseen by the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization. According to the International Meteor Organization, the fireball was visible from across Japan's Kanto region. Calculations on the impact of the entering asteroid have determined that the blast produced the equivalent of 150 tons of TNT. The IMO further estimates that the space rock was 5 feet in diameter, with a mass of nearly 2 tons. It's important to note that this asteroid fragment flew over a major metropolitan city in Japan, with a population in the millions, which poses a much greater risk for anyone living in close proximity to a blast when there is a greater explosive potential. Remember to keep your eyes to the sky, because this has been a crazy year, and nothing is beyond the scope of possibility. Stay safe, and thanks for watching.